You might have seen a lot of blogs and tweets recently about Windows Server 2003. It becomes end of life on July the 14th, 2015. That's less than two weeks away. The first thing to work out is if your business is gonna be affected by this. And the easiest way to do that is if your business had a server installed between 2003 and 2008, then the chances are you will be running this software. Any servers installed on your business after this date will most likely be running a more recent version of Windows. But it is worth checking with your IT support company. If you are affected, then there's a few things that you need to be aware of. Firstly, your server isn't going to stop working on July the 14th. It will still continue to function. What Microsoft is saying is that now this software is 12 years old, they're gonna concentrate on more recent versions of the software. And so they're gonna make 2003 obsolete. Part of this means that they're not gonna release any more security updates to fix bugs and security flaws with server 2003. You might have noticed these updates when you go and shut down your computer on a night. It might say, installing update one of 10. These updates protect your PCs and your server from viruses, malware, and bugs. So without having these updates available for server 2003, it's really not advisable to keep running these servers in your business long term. So if you are running server 2003, what are your options? Well, I think there are three. The first option, if your server hardware is still in reasonable condition, then you could just buy a new version of Windows and install it onto your existing server. Use this method only if funds are tight within your business. The analogy is like trying to get a car through its MOT. You can spend a lot of money trying to make sure it passes the test, but at the end of the day, you still have an old car, and old cars are more likely to break down than new cars. The same is true with servers. The second option is to buy a brand new server with brand new Windows software. Depending on the size of your business, this will cost between two and a half thousand to eight thousand pounds. And once installed, with regular support and maintenance, the server should last you at least five years. The third option is that you could move all your IT systems to the cloud and not have any servers within your business. With this approach, your monthly cost will be higher, but you won't have to buy any hardware, software, or even pay for support or maintenance. It'd be all included with your monthly price. I hope this video has made things a little bit clearer. If you do have any questions about Windows Server 2003, please email me at jonathan at integral-it.co.uk. Thank you.